So now, without further ado, I would like to give the floor to LACNOG, the Latin American Network of Operators, Latin American and Caribbean Network of Operators. Edmundo Casares is here with us. He is a former chair of the LACNOG board and Erika Vega, a member of LACNOG sports. So welcome to the two of them. Good morning. I hope you're all fine. I'm Edmundo Casares together with Erika Vega. Both of us are part of LACNOG's board, and we would like to welcome you warmly to the LACNOG sessions. Over the coming days, we'll be looking at the work that were carried out by LACNOG and in the program committee to start. We'd like to tell you about what LACNOG is about. LACNOG is a network operators group of Latin America and the Caribbean. It is a civil association with an international role. It is a non-profit organization. The headquarters are in Montevideo and is made up by the technical people in charge of operating networks in Latin America and in the Caribbean. Our mission and the vision are the following. The mission is to bring together the people who operate networks in the internet in countries of the region and to be a referent in this field. And the vision is to strengthen the links between the operators, network operators of the region and also professionals and to generate knowledge and promote innovation through working groups to strengthen the ties and to participate on issues related to standards as well as to promote best practices. The objectives are to promote discussion, to exchange information, to learn and to collaborate. This through presenting the points of view to an interest related to the network operators of the region to collaborate in the development uh, process of the internet and sharing recommendations and best operational practices to respond to the training needs of the network operators and other organizations that require training on issues related to network operations. Sometimes you might operate a network but you might require further training and also to participate actively in the development of the internet. LACNOC works on a voluntary, voluntary basis. We have a manager who is a person, is a staff member, but the rest of us are voluntary members. The activities we do are all carried out remotely. We are an international organization and as a result of the pandemic, this has become even more evident the fact that we have to work remotely. We seek to respect cultural diversity, have effective communication and have ethical behavior and we are committed to excellence, service to the community, innovation, honesty and the responsibility when carrying out our work. We have a program committee in charge of the content of the events, we have a board which is in charge of the executive role of the organization. We have working groups who are in charge of dealing with specific topics of interest to the community and to promote, pro, uh, provide support to the community. And then we have the community, which are all the other people who interact through our services this both through the working groups or in the program committee. You can also share your participations with the program committee and you can also participate in the board when there are open um, positions. In terms of coordination, the manager is Lia Solis, she's a general manager and the secretary is Carmen Denis who responds to all the requirements in this 
context. This is a contact email manager at knock.net. In terms of regional collaboration, we have the same coverage as LACNIC, Latin America and the Caribbean. And so far, until yesterday, we have 1,185 participants in the mailing list. This is the largest number we have had. We have organized 11 events, counting this event. We have nine working groups in the organization. More than 50 people participate in these groups. Erika? Thank you, Edmundo. My greetings to all of you. And yes, in fact, as Edmundo was saying a while ago, we are now starting our LACNOC program today. We'd like to rapidly share with you a summary of the presentation of the work we have carried out since 2015 to date, 2021. This shows the countries that have a largest representation in terms of the work presented and those who presented work uh, in, in conferences, Brazil, Argentina, United States, Chile, and Uruguay. These charts show the papers presented and then the speakers that were selected for presenting the papers in the conferences among the main speakers, the top five speakers who have shared the papers with us at LACNOG. We have Thomas Lynch, Alejandro Acosta, Ana Irrebata, Jordi Pallet, and Alvaro Retana. Regarding the presentation of papers, these are the organizations that have been presented, represented. Among the main organizations that have been most represented when submitting papers to LACNIC, we have LACNIC followed by NIC Brazil, Cisco, Telegeography, and Consul Intel and the IPv6 company. This is regarding the papers that were proposed. And then on the right, we have the papers that speakers presented at LACNOC, Brazil, LACNIC, Cisco, and Telegeography. These are the current members of the board of LACNOG and of the program committee of LACNOG. As Edmundo was saying a while ago, the board is in charge of all the administration and management activities, decision making, and this is all the responsibility of the board and those who support us. Lia Solis is our manager and her assistant in secretary in the secretariat is Carmen Dennis. Ariel Weir is the current chair. Edmundo Casares is the vice president of LACNOG. And then we have Hernan Franco from Paraguay, Guillermo Sicileo, Galvao Resende, Jorge Lan, and myself, Erika Vega. We are all the members of the board. Then we have the program committee. All the people these people are in charge of selecting the topics which are then presented at the LACNOG events. These are the people responsible for selecting and defining the program that we'll be sharing with you over the coming days. We have Jorge Villa from Cuba, who has been with us for quite a long time already, Carlos Martinez, Hernan Mogilevsky, Jaime Olmes, Marcela Obiskay, and Gustavo Mercado. The program committee selects the papers for the program committee and also for the members of the board. The positions of the board members is for a three or two year period. And regarding the program committee, we also invite those people who wish to join us and support 
the definition of the contents of the Black Nog programs, which we have, we have been having since 2010. This, uh, this summarizes the papers presented from 2015 to 21 for 279 papers that were submitted. These are the papers that were submitted and 156 papers were then selected and these have been presented at the events since 2015, at the LACNOG events. These are some interesting numbers regarding the sex of the authors who have partic participated over the years. These are the number of papers who were presented and then those that were finally presented at the Congresses. Regarding the papers that were submitted, the number of male speakers was greater, but over the years there is a larger participation of women in LACNOG's events. They had to choose between two events and they rather go to the other event due to their professional interests. Edmundo, the next slide, please. This is a summary of women who have submitted and women who were actual speakers for the different works in the different countries. As we can see, Brazil is number one, followed by Mexico, then the USA, and then different works that have been implemented. We have a total of 10 women speakers. And these seven countries are the, the leading countries. These are the different topics that have been more popular in the work submitted since 2015 to date. And we can see that most papers have been submitted in the topic of routing and IPv6. So how can we add value? How can LACNOG add value? We provide different services that are promoted by the different working groups of LACNOG, the working groups that we are showing on screen and the director of each working group. We're showing them here for you to be familiar with the different topics that we deal with and who is the contact person if you wish to join that working group. For example, the anti-abuse working group is led by Lucy Mara de Sira, BCOP, Ariel Weher, training by Guillermo Sicileo, Knox led by Carlos Martinez and Christian O'Flaherty, DNS working group is led by Hugo Salgado, ITF is led by Jane Aubrey, and the IOT working group is led by Gustavo Mercado. The peering working group is led by Talia Mares. And finally, the routing working group is, is led by Erica Vega. All of the activities that are carried out in LACNIC and LACNOC's event really have its genesis in these working groups and many of the activities that we carry out with all of the NOx groups in the different countries and interconnection groups actually stem from these working groups and we provide support to the different subject matters. As you can see on screen, we have a new image, a new web for LACNOG, lacnog.org. And here you can have further details and further information of what Edmundo and I have presented here today. Next slide, please, Edmundo. This is our 2021 event. And we've organized it together with LACNEC in a hybrid format. We have a hub in Argentina, the Howard Johnson Hotel in the city of Pergamino. 
you have the URL that we have used for the event registration. This is day three. So we have a lot of content yet to show you for those who are joining us today or those who haven't registered yet. So LACNOG, as I said before, as Edmundo said before, we are volunteers. All work, the work we do is on a volunteer basis, but we have different sponsors who support and, and really help us make these events come true, whether in person, whether online, or whether in a hybrid format. We're constantly looking for new sponsors for, of course, support content in our events and support with all of the activities that we carry out in our working groups every year. If you want to reach out, if you want to contact us, you can email us. You can email Leah Solis, our manager, la.solis at lacnog.org to get further information as to how you can become LACNOG sponsors. So finally, here we have more contact information for LACNOG and with that, we are opening the great event that we have for you this year. Thank you.